Hello friends. I am in beautiful Joshua Tree and I am at one with nature right now and I'm just feeling so good and I keep asking myself how I can share more value with you guys and there's so many little tiny lessons I've learned and this one I really want to share with you guys today. Now that I'm feeling all good and free out here, I wanted to teach you guys in specific today three words and phrases that are lowering your vibration and bringing you into this like funky, murky energy without you even realizing it. So I'm going to tell you what they are so we can cut that out of our vocabulary, invite more into our lives, be open to receiving, not cut ourselves off from opportunities and say the wrong thing. We don't want to speak the wrong things into existence. So three words that are holding you back, lowering your vibration without you even realizing it and how to cut them out. Here we go. I am so lucky that I had a friend that loved me enough to call me out on this several years ago. One of my best friends, Marquis, he invited me out to coffee. We got out of the house and like we walked around the block and sat me down and he uh, lovingly drew my attention to the fact that I say certain words that bring us down energetically. And I was like, oh, and, and I really wasn't, my feelings weren't hurt at all. I was like, thank you for telling me this, you know? Um, it's something I hadn't been drawing my attention to. And the first word was, but. Okay, number one word is, but. Like, yeah, I'd love to do this, but. So like, think of the energy of that sentence. I think I'm gonna go do this thing. Or yeah, I could do that, but it cuts the sentence energetically, like it's done. Whatever you are going to say, whatever like energy of like that possibility, boom, it's dead. You chopped it off at the ankles and it's done. So <laughs> just to be a little dramatic. So, but, okay. That was the first word he drew to my attention. I realized like, how much do I say that? So now what we do is we say like, yeah, I, I'd love to do that and I will implement that into my strategy or whatever. Like we add and instead of the word but because and is only adding to the possibility, right? And um, not cutting ourselves off energetically. Number two is hate. Ugh, I hate this song. Ugh, I hate this weather. Do you though? Do you though? Do you though? I don't think anyone watching this channel or anyone that I know actually has hate in their heart, right? And if you are saying that unknowingly, you might be energetically inviting that into your life. Oh, I hate that. Like, you're lowering yourself without even realizing it. Like, hate is so strong of a word and we throw it around like it's nothing. So be aware of that. Be aware of what that does to your energetic field, you know? The words I want you to cut out of your vocabulary are gonna be entirely up to you. I think some of the most common words of the words that I chose to cut out definitely included the words, but, hate, ooh, the phrase, I don't know. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I do that all the time. And I'm like, ugh, I do know. And you do know. So don't say I don't know, cause you do know. Uh, I hope you don't mind the makeup. I'm about to do this photo shoot in the desert out here, uh, but I wanted to stop in really quick and wanted to let you guys know this valuable lesson and asking myself, how can I provide you guys more value? Lessons that I'm learning and we really do speak our lives into existence. We really do create our realities with every word, every breath, and it's going into every single cell at all times. So we want to embody that version of life that we want to live, right? We have to create it every single day. So I'm gonna go create it. You go do that too. Please like and subscribe and all that jazz down below. Please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that this is valuable to you. Please let me know in the comments if it was and let me know if there's anything else I can share with you guys. You know, I really just wanna show you guys lessons that I've learned that have been helpful to me. If you guys don't mind the makeup, or the fit. I'm about to do a little photo shoot out here in the beautiful desert, but I wanted to stop in really quick and share this lesson with you. And I truly hope from the bottom of my heart that this reached you and this taught you something and is improving your life in some way. So have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Mwah.